Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. I wrote this down, it's kind of stupid, but I threw a, a fitly before I was fitly. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's kind of a dad joke. It's Father's Day. You have to humor me. Allow me to, to have some humor here. But I threw a fit, right, before I was fitly. I, I want to give you a, 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 a I, want to, I want to talk to you for a second about that. First uh, Peter 2.5 says that you're a lively stone, right? We are lively stones. Uh, we're built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood. See, see I, I want you to understand for a moment that God is building a home. He's building a home, and he wants to build it in you. See, see we, we think about that a lot, but, uh, but it says, uh, 1 Peter 2.5 says, you're a lively stone built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice, but that spiritual sacrifice is a little s spiritual sacrifice, it's not a big s, acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So this, this, the spiritual sacrifice I offer up is the one that I offer myself. I have to choose to offer it myself. It's not the Holy Spirit coming and offering his own, a sacrifice to himself. It's me that has to offer a sacrifice back to God. I have to come to a place where I understand that he is greater, right? And he's the original and I want to serve him. And I understand that he's trying to build a home in me. But I got I to gotta bring the sacrifice this morning. I got to bring the sacrifice and offer myself back up to him. I got to offer up my will. I got to offer up my, my hopes and dreams and all of the things that I, I clutter myself with, right? I, I, I must worship him. I must come to a place where I love him because I love what I worship. I worship what I love. See, that's, that's so true in, in, in our lives. Uh, amen? In 1 Kings 6 and uh, verse 7, uh, it, it, I love this, this little verse. Uh, uh, talking about Solomon building the temple. And Tal Solomon was, was the wisest man in all of the earth, right? Solomon uh, had all of the workmen go and they would make the stones off site and they would bring the stones to the temple and they would set the stone and there was not a sound, it says, heard while the temple was being erected, right? There was no sound that was made. There was no hammer beating up there. There was no, 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 no banging. There was no, none of that stuff happened. It was just quiet. There was a stone after stone laid. And they would go and they would measure the stone. They would go and cut the stone away from the site. They would bring it and they would come in to the, to the, to the, and, and set it up in the temple. And I, and I, I, I like the way that, that sounds because it tells me that God has prepared not only the stone, like Solomon prepared a stone, God has prepared the other stones in this place this morning. In other words, he prepared you and picked you and, and, designed and, and, and thought about you and brought you to this place. You are fitly, fitly framed this morning. We're, we have come to a place where, where we were called to come. You should fit here, amen? You fit here, you fit here. T turn to your neighbor and say, uh, stop throwing a fit. You are fitly, okay? <laughs> I tricked you a little bit there. But, but you fit, you fit, you should come alive though, amen? If you come to the house of God and, he, and you fit, you should come alive here, amen? There's something in, inside of you that should come alive when you come into the house of the Lord, amen? You, you fit here. I, I love this, this verse in, in Psalms 119, verse 9 through 11. I was reminded of this scripture, but it says, uh, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? I love that word because it's in the King James and it's like three words all in one, wherewithal. But where, where, how can we cleanse our ways? But by taking heed to the word. We need to take in the word of God, amen, every day. It says, with my whole heart have I sought thee. My whole heart being a uh, W-H-O-L-E. In other words, I've got to seek God with a heart that's not injured, all right? I've got to seek God uh, with, with a heart that's whole. In other words, I, I, my heart has been healed. That's what I've got I to seek God with. I, 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 can, I cannot find God. Uh, I can find Him, but, but if my heart is not whole, my motivation, my, my, the outcome will be wrong, okay, in my life. I must seek Him with a whole heart, right? Uh, I, I, it says, oh, let me, let me not wander from your commandments. And then it says something really powerful. Verse 11 says, I word have I hidden my heart that I might not sin against thee. Uh, come and make a home. Amen. God, I wish we had a people, there was a people here that would say, God, come and make a home in my heart. 
Make me whole. Make me, make me whole. T- take away my false motivations. Take away my, my selfish desires. Take away whatever it is you need to take away, God, and put in whatever you need to put in. And Lord, I just thank you that you have fitly made me, right? You, ha- you have chiseled off. You have knocked off some of the, the, the excess things, the things that don't, don't need to be there. You have brought me to a place, amen? to make a home in me. I, I will come alive. I will, I will allow the Spirit of God to change me and make me alive. Amen? I want to I come alive in this place, in this moment, in this time. Amen?